हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग सेकेंड मेन क्वेश्चन इन दैट सेकेंड दैट इज ऑलरेडी वी आर डिस्कस फर्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस इज द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आर क्वेश्चन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन वन इंडस्ट्री इज दैट दैट इज कॉल एज अ कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री इट मीन्स दैट द इंडस्ट्री विच मेक्स द टॉयज वन इंडस्ट्री इज दैट विच इज मेकिंग द टॉयज सच इंडस्ट्री दैट कॉल एज अ कॉटेज इंडस्ट्री एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट हाउ मेनी द टॉयज दे आर मेकिंग पर डे दैट इज आवर क्वेश्चन इन दैट डे ऑफ वन दैट The total cost of production of the toys is equal to rupees seven hundred and fifty, and they gave that number of toys each day is equal to the fifty five minus the number of toys. Means here, see the solution is this type. I have taken let number of toys, let number of toys is equal to x. We don't know how many toys they are making, so that's why I have taken let number of toys is equal to x. Once I have taken number of toys as x. Number of toys per day, that is number of toys each day. They have given 55 minus the number of toys. This I have not written. They have given in the question 55 minus the number of toys. It means that 55 minus of x we should take. Next thing is total cost of production. Also they have given it. That is rupees 750. So what we need to do it? These two we need to multiply. How we know that this we have to multiply? Production they have done. So whenever production will be there, you need to multiply. Then we will get. Let's multiply that. X in the bracket, 55 minus x, which is equals to 750. Then 55 into x is nothing but 55x minus of x square. 750 bring this side, it becomes minus of 750, which is equals to zero. This I will arrange in the proper form. First minus x square should come. Then plus 55x. Then minus of 750, which is equals to Zero. Then what is the next thing? Minus is there, so again I will multiply each term by minus. So it becomes x square minus 55x plus of 750, which is equal to zero. Now this is a proper quadratic equation. We need to find out the rules. You can apply the quadratic formula also. You can apply, or you can get the simple factorization. I am going to take the simple factorization. If you do by the simple factorization, the factors of 750. See, I write here 750 x square. The factors will be 55 is there, so I will take here 30 and 25. If you add 30 and 25, you get 55. 30 into 25 you will get 750. What about the sign? This is the minus sign, so bigger should be minus as well as minus. The smaller one also should be minus. Because this is plus or minus, so 30x and minus 30x and minus 25x are the factors. Let us substitute in the next step like this. So let me write this. This is as x square minus 55x plus 750, which is equals to zero. Now I am going to substitute the factors. The factors are this minus 30x and minus 25. So I will substitute here x square minus 30x minus 25x plus 750, which is equal to zero. Observe here what we are doing. In this common unit, lowest is x. So in bracket x minus 30, leave some gap. Then write the same thing. That is x minus 30. In this two, what we can take on minus 25, which is equal to Zero. So what we can write here? Two are same. X minus 30 is equal to zero. These two write one time. Then another this is one. That is x minus 25, which is equal to zero. So what about this? It becomes x is equal to 30, and this becomes x is equal to 25. So which is your answer? Both are your answer. You can consider the number of toys. Let the toys are 30 and number of toys per day is 25. Or else you can take let number of toys are 25. Both are your answers. Whichever you want, you can take. So this is the solution for the second question. Let us go for another question, which is quite simple. This is the third question which I am going to say. The third question, let me read here. What is that? Find the two numbers whose sum is 27. And the product is 180. This is the third question. Two numbers are there. 
two numbers whose sum is there, whose sum is twenty seven, and the product is what? Product is nothing but one hundred and eighty degrees. Let's see how to solve this. See here, they gave that the two numbers are there. So I'll take let let the number first number. First number, which is equals to x. Obviously, the second number will be. What about the second number? They gave the sum. So, total sum they gave twenty seven. So, what about the second number? It will be surely twenty seven minus of x. Then, these two we need to take the product like this. X in the bracket, twenty seven minus x, which is equals to one hundred eighty. Let's multiply this twenty seven into x. Twenty seven x. Minus x square minus 182, which is equal to zero. Arrange in a proper form. This becomes minus x square plus 27x minus 182, which is equal to zero. Again, you can see that x is minus, so multiply by minus sign everywhere. It becomes x square minus 27x plus 182, which is equal to zero. Let us see the factors of 182. What is this one? 182 x square is there. And factors you should search such a way that you should get from this one. Think it. What about the factors? What are the factors of that is 182? So that you will get it. If you add it, you should get minus 27. Or else, if you subtract also, you should get it minus of 27. What about the factors? Easily see that 27 is there. So I can tell the factors are fourteen and thirty. The factors will be what? Fourteen x and thirty x. Which is the sign here? Minus is there, so both should be minus. Minus fourteen x minus of thirty x. Let us substitute and solve the next thing. So this is the equation: x square minus twenty seven x. Plus one eighty, which is equal to zero. Let us substitute the factors here. This has x square minus fourteen x minus thirteen x plus one eighty, which is equal to zero. Let us take the common x inside x minus fourteen. Leave some gap and write x minus fourteen, which is equal to zero. In this two, what you should take common minus of thirteen. Again, these two are same. Write one time x minus fourteen, which is equal to zero. And here x minus 13, which is equal to zero. Then what is the x? This becomes x is equal to 14, and this becomes x is equal to 13. So what about the first number? Both are equal to the right answer again. If you consider 14 as the first number, surely the second number will be 13. If you consider the first number as 13, surely the second number will be 14. So both are your answers. So this is the solution for third main question.